New tonight, the fear of coronavirus and the struggles of the human condition. While many try to remain calm and positive during lockdown, there are those others. Isolation threatens their sobriety. News 13's Taylor Young joins us live from Asheville. Taylor, experts say a chance for recovering addicts to relapse is greater during this pandemic. Yeah, Frank, psychologists say it's normal to feel stressed out during a time like this, but some people handle stress differently, including self-medicating with drugs or alcohol. Staying inside has become the new normal for millions of Americans across the country, creating a new set of challenges for those fighting addiction. It's such a stressful time right now. Dr. Thomas Campbell is a third year psych resident at Mayhek. He says a common element of addiction is isolation. Doctors typically encourage those struggling to connect with others. Trying to get them, you know, reestablished with friends, family, um, jobs, and, um, and so with this now, I mean, there's forced isolation. He says forcing some people back into previous unhealthy behaviors like drinking and turning to drugs. People are relapsing and um, and or are choosing also not to get sober right now. Dr. Campbell says it's not only isolation that's causing some people to relapse, but also the added stress of the unknown. People sometimes use because they're, they're trying to alleviate some sort of anxiety or depression. Medical experts say mental health problems like anxiety and depression are likely to spike in coming weeks, potentially causing more people to abuse alcohol or drugs. The number of people I think who are, are now struggling with anxiety is understandably increasing and then a significant portion of people with anxiety um, self-medicate with, with drugs or alcohol. He suggests those struggling to wake up every day with a plan. So I encourage people to try to get some sort of structure into their lives, into their daily routine. Um, however possible, and to continue to get exercise. He also encourages people to keep in contact with loved ones and friends, either by phone or by FaceTime. For more information on addiction, visit our website at WLOS.com.